Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan the final season part 2 episode number 9 reaction. Alright, uh, the previous episode, it was an episode where we see everyone is starting to rise up against Eren. Like you know, enemy, allies all together. Now this, uh, the previous episode, we first things we see is uh, Levi and um, Hanji, them, both of them kind of making a little uh deal or coming to an agreement with peak and magath and they're going to work together uh while uh the whole thing with um connie also we get to see like him taking um falco to his mom uh he was going to feed him to her but uh armin and gabi came in the nick of time uh, armin showed his determination by trying to jump into the uh titan's mouth himself uh, Connie had to go and help him and then he was like all right you know, I'm going to help you guys out he snapped out of his whole thing of like yeah I'm going to save my mom because it is sad you know the whole situation is very sad and I can understand his thing but at the same time in like you know like as he said like you know I'm supposed to be a soldier my mom wouldn't like if he's if she sees me like this you know so yeah and uh then we get to the whole thing with um falco and uh, not falco sorry uh flosh uh oh no we meet annie as well in the middle of it uh annie <laughs> stuffing his mouth <laughs> annie also joins and then we get to the situation with flosh where flosh tries to uh kill um both yelena and oyankopon in front of all the people peak in the car titan form comes in and he she like you know saves them reiner uses like you know kind of distracts them and they get out of that situation now then we get to see that magath has some like you know business with Yelena. he he said that i'm only going to help you guys if you bring helena here alive uh, not helena sorry Yelena, <laughs> here alive and uh, yeah while the other team connie's team which is getting uh, you know uh, mikasa all of them joined because it's getting bigger and bigger um goes to reiner and he's there like yeah let's go reiner time to save the world <laughs> i'm guessing reiner will also join so let's see what happens in this episode this is episode number nine of attack on titan the final season part two so i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Oh, this is this is John. I think so. Damn, <laughs> Mikasa! <laughs> oh boy! And look at this now. It's all just destroyed. War. Titans are just. Yep, he is traumatized for life. Ah. Oh my god, come on, John. Yeah, like I can't blame anyone who feels like this now because it's such a the situation is just, you know, like you, Okay. Oh, hmm. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, there you go. She's making decisions for herself. 
Yeah, it's wrong. Still wrong. In four years. Yeah, that's also true, you know. That's also true, but for a while, but oh boy. Oh. Yeah, we can do something in that point. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's so many innocent... Yeah, there's so many innocent people just living there. Like, this, this is not the right way. Like, obviously, like... What else? Idealism. <sighs> yeah, she was thinking about it, you know. Levi just was like, What the hell are you saying? <sighs> Marco. Hmm. Night of the end. It's just <laughs> we need to do it for teamwork. Come on, just don't start that again. Like, uh. But you guys started this, you know, remember? <laughs> oh my god, here we go again. Yeah, like, don't bring justice into this. No one is correct in this whole... Okay, calm down. All our fears about the truth. <sighs> what? Then what do we do? Like just die? Okay, here we go again. He's going to bring out like... Oh boy, here we go. I knew he was going to bring this up. Oh.
Oh. Okay. You know what, Magat, you need to calm down a little bit. Just. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like yeah, what are you even saying? You're not even born there. Yeah. Damn, Hanji. Hanji is good with words, you know. Just leave it to her. Yeah. <sighs> oh boy. I don't know. Yeah, we can't say anything at this point. We need to, yeah, just. We'll think about it that time. Hmm. Like, oh, my God, okay, great. Here we go again. <laughs> Levi's just like, I'm, I'm out of this. <laughs> He's probably unconscious now or something, sleeping. What? Yeah, he has his, she has his dad. There you go. Oh, what happened to her dad, I wonder? Like, they shot him. We have no reason to fight until then, yeah. Time for food. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh. Flying, what's a flying boat? Oh, maybe an airplane or something. Hmm. Okay. Who? Oh, Yelena. Okay, okay. That's why they wanted her. Mm. Well, she doesn't want to live. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter. Because? Wait. Wait, what?
Tender to be from national. Wait, what? Resolution, okay. Oh my god. Okay, so it, it was basically escapism for her. Oh no, wait a minute. No, no, wait a minute, just a minute. No translation, never mind. Okay. True. Oh, his. oh yeah, that whole thing. Ah. Uh. Eat the oh boy. Ah. Yeah, she she's the only only one who okay. What? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, no, okay. Why the hell? Oh wait. Oh yeah, they don't... Mm, they don't know, do they? I forgot about that completely. Ryan has not spoken from that from the beginning of this episode. Now he's speaking. Ah. I guess he, like, John kind of realized something like this would have happened, like, he knew. But he didn't know the actual thing would happen, but he had an inkling. Oh.
Oh yeah, the whole split personality thing. <laughs> Anji's like, what? Oh my god, Reiner. Yeah, he's suffering, you know, like we can see. Ugh. Whoa! Wait, what's happening? Okay. Yeah. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh. Now let him be alone for a sec. Oh, okay. No, no, he he's. Yeah, there you go, Magat. Always like you know, like he he's so thick, stubborn and thick-headed that, like, the way he was like you know like now he's understanding what the whole thing like. I'm sorry, Levi. <laughs> Levi just woke up. <laughs> oh. oh my god, John. Hmm. Well, yeah, that was the... That was just a little, you know... <laughs> a friendly... Like, you know, fight? Yeah, he's a titan, so... <laughs> I guess that's why Jan was just freely punching me. He's like, yep, he's going to regenerate, so let me just get my anger out on him. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine, you know, like everyone's at fault here at in some way or the other. Um what? Okay. Oh great. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Uh, Falco's here. Not Falco, sorry, Flush. Why do I always mix these two names up? <sighs> okay. So, a hostage situation. That's what we'll have to counteract this time. <clears throat> Oh boy. Okay, this episode was a very um, interesting one because we just talked, you know? Like, just sat down and talked. And a little bit, like, you know, thing in the end, but that's just it.
it was interesting to see like you know get like a full episode dedicated to them just talking and you know like what do you call it just telling each other about their problems what they felt was wrong and what the other was like you know like not happy about but this is the thing like both the teams they have their own grievances and the best way to kind of come come to an uh, agreement is just talk and that's why this episode was dedicated to them completely to them talking and yeah like if you want to make peace we needed to have this have this episode and there you go we got it Okay, that's the end. Here we go. All right, this episode here. Um, now, at the beginning, we see John kind of like, you know, thinking about what could have happened if he went to the military police and things didn't go like this. Um, you know, if the Titan attack didn't happen, what he could have been, where he could have been. And it's just, you know, like, it's, it's, it's suffering from so many things, like, from the beginning. Like, he never wanted to get into this whole thing. Like, you know, when he, from the day when he wanted to become a military police, he, he has always, you know, chose the path which is uh, difficult and which is correct at the same time. And that's why, you know, he, I guess this, like, a, a time came, which is now, with where he is just unable to, um hold it in anymore like always you know like getting the short end of the stick you can say and he's just like yeah like we have to still remember here like his like his personality was someone who obviously wanted like an easy life and you know did not want to get into these mess messy situations but he has always chose the paths which did not provide him any easy life and you know like that's why i guess like you know it's it's kind of getting to him now like like after so many years it's getting to him he's like like what have i like you know done wrong that this is the way the world is now and we are just suffering all of us we don't know what to do and uh yeah and in front of everyone he has to keep that poker face you know like that that face where it it feels as if he's not being bothered by anything um so <clears throat> that's also another thing which is probably making making him suffer okay like then he comes out hanji and all of them like they start talking about like what they are supposed to do after this and <clears throat> now here john uh, brings out a question which is kind of interesting he says like okay so what if what will happen if we start this and uh, if we stop this rumbling if we stop Eren and the people the Marlians they will be quiet for who knows at least like seven or eight years and then they're going to revert back to the original thing again and they will be even more angry more afraid of us and like yeah they'll try to kill us even more after this because like they're going to be become afraid of this one island just living there which could like you know like which could explode any time and try to kill them so they're going to keep quiet for a moment for a few years and obviously within that time they're going to make more plans in as to how to destroy the people in paris island and probably they're going to keep it peaceful in the outside but maybe i don't know like uh like just dispatch some secret operatives or some kind of people who will go inside you know quietly and just try to destroy paris island from inside or something something like that they could easily do and there's a lot of way they could uh, like you know try to attack paris island so this thing and I'll, I'll be honest i never thought about this you know like i i knew like you know like if you stop this it wouldn't be that easy but i never thought that they like you know after like five or seven years 
they could they would become even more um what do you call it more uh uh like uh, they'll even try more uh, to, uh they'll try to kill the people in the paris island with more you know like ah oh boy i can't find that word like <laughs> like it will be more uh, what can i say um ah oh god i'm messing this part up aren't i um yeah they'll they'll be more afraid of them and they are going to think that yeah we need to destroy them as soon as possible otherwise they're going to do this again in the future and that's why they might do this whole thing again maybe in secret but they're just going to get more um angry and more um afraid and just yeah this will continue in the future as well and i never thought about it like that like that's true the, what John, the, the point that john brings up kind of true but at the same time the thing that hanji says is also true like genocide is wrong like what are you like you know what what what's what are we supposed to do with this like Aaron, he's planning to kill everyone now everyone means everyone like even people who are not involved in this even people who probably has no idea what's happening you know like i'm sure there are a few people who just doesn't know that this whole huge war is happening so uh, you know like so many uh, kilometers away maybe they live in like a very uh, like you know secluded place where they don't have any information coming to them and anything they think like the world is peaceful and they're happy and suddenly Aaron comes and just tramples their place like what 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 have they done they've done nothing they don't even know that a war is happening and they die just like that so these people the people who are like you know like the the common people the citizens who just are like you know getting to know that yeah this is happening and they don't have any other involvement with the war Maybe there are people in, uh, you know, like Marley as well, who are thinking like, oh, this is happening. This is wrong. The Marleyans are wrong. I'm sure there are a lot of people in the Marleyans as well who know that the Marleyans are doing wrong and they don't support them at all. You know, they're going to get killed by Aaron. Even if people, citizens, there are citizens who support Marleyans and who are saying like, oh, kill, like, you know, the devils, kill the devils, just like everyone. That's because they have wrong information, wrong knowledge. They have been brought up in a way where they, it was like completely drilled into their brain that the Paris Islands uh, people are devils. They're here to kill us. Just like, you know, the Ga Gabi and all the other kids. So they're also not at fault here. Like no one is at fault. Okay, definitely the people who have instigated this whole thing, they are at fault. You can say the Marleyans, the upper, like, you know, like what do you call them? The, the superiors or whatever, who are like the main people who are just doing this and like you know making this happen like giving them orders um they might be at fault you can say uh, maybe the people who knows about the whole situation and who knows that they're doing a wrong thing but they're still doing it because of uh like greed uh like you know greed for money or power like you know the whole uh, natural resources underneath uh, paradise island they're doing it just for that those people are at fault you can say um but the other people like what 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 sins have they committed for them to just die like that like this is not a this is not a solution and like and and okay like let's just think like okay Aaron like destroys everyone then what like what are we supposed to do just live in our island pretending that ah everything's all right you know the whole world is destroyed but we are okay then it's then it's fine Ah, that won't work, you know, like because the people in the uh, Paris Island, their mentality is also going to get completely become completely different. I'm sure if Aaron wins here, the Jaegerist will become like a supreme power of this whole thing. They're going to rule them. And you definitely know what happens if like, you know, like the, the Jaegerist starts ruling the people in the Paris Island. This world would be a very bad place. Because the world after that will only consist of people in the Paris Island because all the other, the, the whole world is destroyed. Aaron has destroyed it. And Aaron will live for how many? Four or five years. Uh, and then, like, the Jaegerist will become like the supreme force or whatever you call them. And, you know, it, it's going to be a mess. And, oh my God, like, you, 
Like everything's wrong in this whole thing. Everything is wrong. The whole plan of Eren actually going and destroying the world in itself is wrong. And Hanji knows that. Hanji realizes that in morality, in the prospect, like you know, in the aspect of morality, if you think of it in uh like you know the uh what do you call it? Like in any other way, this whole thing is not correct in like at all in any way so hanji is like yeah it is wrong and jan you know like jan also realizes that but jan you know we've seen jan like you know he is always this type of like a person who overthinks think you know like you can't say that he's overthinking it but here he is kind of thinking about the situation in a more um realistic manner he's like yeah like what are we going to do now if if like you know like we we stop aaron like they're going to get us anyway so he thinks about stuff a bit you know like a little bit too much and that's why he's worrying about this and hanji also realizes that but at the same time hanji also knows that what they're doing is incorrect john also knows that but you know like he, he's afraid that's basically it and it, it it makes me realize like this whole thing is kind of you know this whole thing of john being afraid and thinking like oh this is wrong he knows this is wrong but at the same time him saying like oh what are we going to do like you know if we don't kill them they're going to kill us this whole thing it reminds me of um uh what do you call it like kind of the whole thing with the marleans because the marleans are also kind of in the same position aren't they they're like like you know they're like oh the titans they attacked us you know like if we don't kill them you know if we don't destroy the people in the paradise island they're going to get us someday like it's like the same thing the same fear both of them has both the marlins and both uh you know the eldians like the the subjects of ymir both both of them have like the same fear like if we don't get them they're going to get us someday like it's a very very weird situation if you think about it like yeah like ah oh boy this is a complicated thing like I, I i i was just going to say you know like that they could just sit down and talk but i feel like even if they talk you know like the whole marlians and the aliens or whatever even if they talk it wouldn't work because they would still have the whole problem of should i trust them or should i not this thing is going to come up and ah this is a very bad situation like i don't think there's like any any correct answer to this whole thing this is a tough situation like like, like all the time like you know whenever i watch anime kind of react to them and like you know talk about it i always try to find out like a solution to whatever problem they're having in my own way and kind of say it but in attack on titan i feel like there is no solution to this problem no solution like what are you supposed to do here like as i said like you know even if you talk you're going to have like you know like get a trust problem you're going to think like oh should i trust them and the other party will also think the same thing like that's because we're human we are like you know we doubt everything and like you know like yeah Ugh. anyways okay that 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 was what was happening and then we see like them just sitting down talking like you know just making food um hanji's making food now here, the first thing that happens is mm, the whole thing with Magath. Now, again, like I, I feel like the whole problem with Magath is that he is a lot hard-headed. You can say <laughs> stubborn, hard-headed, and he's that type of a person who is like, oh, these kids, you know, like these kids. They, he, he's that type of a person, like who's like, oh, I'm correct because I'm older than everyone that type of like i i'm not saying it's completely but that type of personality is there in him because the way he was dismissing john it felt as if he was like those like you know elders who were like yeah these kids kids they don't know anything what happened like you know back in my day that type of a thing and <laughs> like like I, I i understand what's Magath coming from you know like he he he's saying this from his point of view because you know he has been brought up in a place where he got to know that yeah the paradise island people are devils that's why it's very difficult for him to understand that these people are also like us you know? like that is the thing you know like they need to understand that these people are also like us they also have feelings they also have like you know fear and everything 
Like that's why they are acting like this. If you think of it in that way, it it becomes so simple. But the Magat is like you know like he's like. Uh... Okay, now the first thing that John brings up is like so like he's like what the hell are you saying you know like if the whole problem with you know like the, the whole Shigan Shima district that thing did not happen and his mom, mom didn't get killed and the whole town not didn't get destroyed you know what i think i think like even if the trying town got destroyed if if her if his mom if Aaron's mom was alive you know somehow if that day they were able to save her and wouldn't have become like this because you know there would be someone to guide him he lost everything at that point and he just yeah, he had this thing, like, you know, that look in his face when he's like, I'm going to destroy all titans in the world. And, you know, like, at that moment, he was ignorant of the fact that he knew that the titans were the enemy. You know, he was ignorant of the fact that so many things are happening in the background. So as, as he got to know about that whole thing of the Marlins and everything, he realized that the titans are kind of not the problem here. The whole thing kind of shifted. He's like, he was, before he was like, I'm going to kill all the titans. Now he's like, I'm going to destroy the world because he, that's the solution he can come up with here. Now, <clears throat> if his mom was alive, I doubt anything could be like this could have happened. And this thing, whole thing could have been stopped. And if you think of, of it in that way, the thing that John says here is very true. He's like, like, look, like, look what you, you, you have made this problem. You know, you, you made this whole thing, you know, you, you created this. The whole Shiganshima, like you know, like the the thing uh, where Aaron's mom died, you were the ones who actually ordered it, like you know, ordered this whole thing to happen. And like we don't know because of what, because you were maybe you were afraid of us, maybe because of the natural resources, whatever, whatever reason it was, you attacked us. Aaron's mom got killed, and look at the monsters that you have created. It's on you completely. And I wholeheartedly agree with John at, John at that, in, in, in some way, you know. But Magath then brings up even, like, you know, more power. <laughs> he brings up, like, oh, 2,000 years ago, you know, like, the, the whole thing with the Marlians, the, the, like, you know, the Eldians were the one at fault. You know, he brings up the whole king, the whole Ymir situation. And he then brings up that. And I'm like, yo, like, just... That's 2000 years ago. What can you even do if, if you bring this up now? But I, I guess if you think about it in that way, the whole Aaron situation is also something in the past. So if you think of it in that way, I guess we should stop thinking of the past at, you know, completely and just focus on the future. Uh, but I do feel like the whole situation with Magath where he just brings up 2000 years ago is a very, I don't know, like very weird thing he does there because like what like you weren't even born there what the hell are you are you even saying like you know 2000 years ago it 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 doesn't even matter to you so why are you bringing that up just for uh argument's sake yeah if you think of it in that way i guess um john's whole thing was a lot more uh like acceptable john is saying this because his friend that is aaron was the one who got that loss you know and we are there with him at that time. We also know what happened at that moment. You know, the whole like, you know, situation, Shikan Shinama district situation. And it's something that happened within our lifetime. While Magath is bringing up a thing which happened 2000 years ago or something, which, prob which was a time when neither he nor his grandfather nor his great grandfather was there. You know, he's bringing up a situation that long ago. So in my opinion, the whole argument here that Magath brings up is completely... Um, it should not be used here. He's just bringing this up for argument's sake and just to um, like counteract Reiner's like you know thing. And that's why Reiner got mad. And I I really like you know applaud. Uh, <laughs> what's his what's her name? Um, uh, Hanji 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 for like you know coming up with a very appropriate response. He's she's like an argument over what happened two thousand years ago when you're not even there bores me. Exactly. Like, thank you. Like, this is just what I was, like, you know, trying to say. Hanji just said that. Like, he's, she's like, what the hell are you even saying? You know, this is something that happened 2000 years ago where you or your family or your ancestors probably weren't even there. You know? Um, so, like, what are you trying to say? 
Yeah. You're bringing that up in this argument, which happened a few years ago, the whole Shingar situation where Aaron lost everything. That happened a few years ago. And we are still living in that situation. And you're bringing up 2000 years ago at this moment in account, trying to counteract that argument. So what do you say? It bores me. Like, you know, no need to continue. And yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with Hanju's thing here. And Magath, like, you know, still just hard headed, just sits there. He's like, oh, nope, they're at the wrong. Like, like here's the thing. Um, if Magath here said something like, okay, you guys are wrong. We are also wrong at, uh, in a, you know, in a few ways. I would have said that fine. That's okay. You know, he's at least accepting his and his people's mistake. But he's completely like you know throwing this on the Eldians, you know, on the Paris Island people. He's just throwing that on them and not accept expect accepting their own sins or their own like you know um, uh, things that they did, the wrong things that they did. That's what bothers me. Like, which I think he later on realizes. You know, the whole Gabi situations. He realizes that at that moment. But, you know, he's a little bit uh, stubborn, nothing you can do about it. Uh, if you just look at his face, you can understand. <laughs> he's a bit stubborn. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, now, here comes the next part. They ask, like, can you kill Eren? Hmm? And all of them are quiet. Now, Annie, I think Annie comes up. Yeah, Annie comes up and she's like, this is a problem with you guys. You know, like, we are fighting to kill Eren, to stop this whole thing. You're fighting to stop Eren, obviously, but to protect him as well at the same time. So, this, this is a problem here. And now, here what Mikasa says is like, um, yeah, we're going to think about it later on. Now, I feel like we don't know what's going to happen, you know, like, what's going to happen, how Eren is going to react. And if there is any way to actually stop him or not without killing him, we don't know. So time will tell. That's basically it. Nothing you can say about that in this position. We don't even know if we'll be able to reach Eren in time. That's another thing. So no need to waste time here just thinking about what could happen in the future. We just need to go there and then like, you know, do whatever we have to to stop him. If we can, like, you know, convince him, well and good. If we're not, then we'll think about it after, like in that situation. Nothing we can do thinking about it, wasting our time here. And like Annie is like, like Annie is like, oh, like, you know, Aaron is so precious to you. You cannot kill him, this and that. And he, she's like, I'm sure you've never in your life, you've thought of anything more precious to you than Aaron. Okay. And Mikasa's like, so you're saying you need to kill me? And Annie just brings out the thing and Han just like like guys we're having a dinner here no need for any bloodshed <laughs> but and here I was thinking I was thinking like why is Annie acting like this because Annie has like a similar reason you know his her dad so I think he should she should sympathize with Mikasa and there you go and then Annie says like, like brings that down and he shows her hand and she's like I get how you feel and I'm like there you go you know she also has someone like that in her, in her like you know her hometown which is her dad and she realizes it and that's why you know she also sympathizes she should sympathize with mikasa and uh, and that's how that ends okay and then we get to s listen to their plan they're like okay we need to go to the port we need to go to the azuma Bitos for help and there will be like uh they say like a flying ship i'm guessing it's basically an airplane or something you know we have we will have that and we're going to use that to go as close to Eren. and uh yeah we'll think about it after that now the whole thing with yelena comes up after this yelena um just like you know is sitting there and they ask her like what's happening and uh you know like uh where is it okay like at first they ask her to say uh like threatens her and john is like no it do doesn't matter she's eager to die so you can't do anything like that and <clears throat> okay now here an interesting part of information comes up yelena is not like is a marlian i think that's what they say yeah 
Okay, here we go. Peek says, um, <clears throat> we looked into your past and found some surprises. You were born into a perfectly normal Marlin family, but you pretended to be a small nation annexed by Marley. It was right after you met Zeke. And became uh, becoming disillusioned by Marley, you crafted a story, a miraculous fairy tale of how you and the prince saved the world. You tried to solidify your life into an inedible part of human history. I'm impressed by the depth of your desire. Okay, um... And, like, interesting, she says, like, are there any words sweeter and alluring than this? Um, you give yourself to sublimely exciting idea that you will save hundreds of millions of lives um, and gulp it all down as if to wash away all the hatred you felt in the past. That's how all of you look right, look in my eyes right now. Wait, uh... Wait a minute. So, what she's saying is just a sec. Okay. Um. Then she starts talking about um. You know, everyone, all the like, you know, people there, like who did something wrong. You know, like he talks about like the whole thing with Armin, how they attacked the whole thing with Annie Reiner, how they attacked and killed like you know so many people under Armin's like you know. You know leadership the whole thing in the you know that happened in season uh, final season part one you know, like Aaron attacking this and that and uh, John as well she talks about how he heard a thunder spear at a boy Falco to defeat the cart and uh, Gabi who shot Sasha and Sasha is like he she only says like Sasha is like the only good person there because yeah, we've seen her and she never like you know even that situation where there was like the little kid it was like go away go away and just like you know leaves her or something and oh it was gabi yeah i remember it was gabi like you know he came across gabi first and he left let her go or something okay now i don't understand this part he like John starts drinking and he's like thanks Yelena you were trying to air out our grudges so we can get our minds straight weren't you I don't think that was what she was trying to do but <laughs> I feel like she was trying to get the opposite reaction she's she... and John completely brushed that away he's like oh it's fine thank you Yelena you're just trying to be friendly aren't you and Yelena's like what I feel like that's what was happening, wasn't it? Yelena was trying to kind of make this like an uncomfortable situation for them, make them more guilt, you know, like induced or something. But John completely brushed that off because, you know, he knows what, what they did and he accepts that. He knows that they have, you know, did so many wrong things. And Yelena just bringing it up doesn't even bother him at this point, I guess. And that's why he's like, oh, thank you. Like sarcastically, I'm guessing this part. He's like, thank you. You just, you know, helped us out. Right when you dream, what? Right when you dream, you're so committed to that you blew up your friend's brains out just to attain ending up failing, and all you wish now is death. I say it's very, con yeah, he's sarcastically saying that. I say it's very considerate of you. Yeah, yeah, that was pure sarcasm. I can see that now. Okay, now, oh, and then, oh God, so wait a minute, so I still don't understand, what is Yelena's thing, like, what's she trying to do here, like, the first thing I could understand is, like, she was talking about how, like, we, we can see she, she forged the whole thing, story of being annexed by Marley, so, and then she starts talking about, like, a fairy tale situation where, you know, like, uh, like we are going to become the saviors of the world like thinking of it in that way getting like an adrenaline rush and like you know forgetting of all the wrong things that happened in the past bad things she's and then she says like that's how you guys are doing it now but i feel like she was 
that equally applies to her as well like she also probably got a little kick out of that whole situation where we've seen her you know whenever like zeke and like you know erin does something like you know saving the world as as they say you know yelena like gets like completely uncon like you know uncontrollable she's like oh this is so beautiful so i feel like the thing that she said there applies to her equally as well she also got a kick out of that situation where they that is the jaeger uh, brothers uh, are going to become the saviors of the world you know by going against all wrong or whatever and you know like that's 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 how she got a kick of it herself and she was able to drown off all the out all the bad things that happened probably in her past probably she had some bad past i'm guessing and to get out of that she kind of did it like this so i'm guessing that's that equally applies to her as well and that's why she was saying that at that moment i don't know i'm not completely sure um and she's trying to i don't know like you know, say these kind of things and trying to rile them up jen completely brushed that off you know but then she brings up marco i think they let just a sec yeah marco okay she talks about the whole thing with how annie you know like killed him or something like he asks uh uh reiner like uh, not reiner but john like did you know that now i can't properly recollect i don't think john knew how like you know how marco got killed this is the first time he's hearing it isn't it correct me if i'm wrong so but i'm sure john had an inkling as to what happened he knew something like that could have happened that's why he was not that much surprised he was like yeah like i knew this was cool it was something that ha would have happened that have happened and i just didn't know about it now i'm just hearing how it went down and he was he was prepared for it and <clears throat> like at first like you know annie was like oh i did it and then rhino was like no like you know like it it was me i was the one who gave them the orders you know like and i was afraid of him leaking everything and Yeah, like John asks, like, did Marco ask something? Okay, now. Anji says, like, isn't it great, like, seeing how all of us here who are not okay with each other, just enemies, just sitting here, like, talking and eating? Like, this is something that, like, you know, like, it's like, like, we can see, like, we can come to an agreement if we just sit and talk. Here, Reiner starts talking about how he got his like whole like, split personality thing. He's like, oh, after that whole situation, I flew and just killed the Titan who was attacking Marco because you know, like I thought that it was eating him, and like you know, the whole split personality thing comes up. Okay, now just a sec. He says, I'm sorry. No, wait. I killed the titan. Yeah, you're saying the guilt messed with your head, right? John says this. Don't forgive me. I'm just a helpless. I said enough. I'm sorry. Oh boy, like yeah, he was. Oh god. And then John just goes up and just punches him, starts attacking him, and yeah, I knew like he was attacking him that much, making his face that like you know. Like, at, like, kick, like punching his face so much because he knew that he's a titan and he's going to regenerate. So he's like, yeah, let's just beat him up. And oh my god, like I guess this was needed, you know? Like John, like John really liked Marco as a like you know, as a friend. He was like his only friend, you can say in that way. And like there was a grudge that he had on you know like Reiner and. After this whole situation, I guess he can, you know, accept Reiner as his ally. You know, this whole, after he beat him up like that. Okay, Gabi comes in and kind of, you know, like, he gets kicked by Reiner, uh, down a little bit. And here we can see Gabi just, like, you know, like, Gabi's completely changed. She's like, like, forgive us, like, you know, we did not know better. You know, like, um, we thought, like, you know, like, the, the, the you guys are the devils, and that's why we attacked you, this and that, like, and it's true, you know, like, they have been, like, brainwashed in a way, you can say, from childhood, they have been listening to how the Paddy's Island were the people in the wrong, 
and they sh devils who needs to be killed while them coming here they realize like just like us there are people here who has nothing to do with it and who are getting involved in this like you know they're not the devils that we thought they were and yeah gabby gabby realized that so gabby's like forgive us and kind of like you know and here's where magath kind of looks at her and he's like yeah I, i'm i'm i think this is the time where magath realized that like <sighs> Like, even a kid like her understands the whole situation while I'm just stubbornly sitting here, just not budging from my position. Like, you know, just blaming others, not accepting our own faults. So maybe I should also accept the fault that we did. You know, after listening to Gabi and seeing how a little kid like her also understands the whole situation and accepts their fault and what they did wrong. And, okay. Now... The next day, like, you know, everyone wakes up. The whole thing, the, like, you know, Jan and Gabi kind of reconcile, you can say. And <laughs> Jan just <laughs> grabs Ryan and is like, wake up. You know, it's time to go. <laughs> and yeah, he's regenerated. And I'm sure that's why <laughs> Jan roughed him up a little bit too much because he knew he's going to regenerate either way. Now, later on, we get to see, like, you know, they're just, you know, like, Right, or like Peak comes in and Peak gives them the whole situation. The Jaegerists have, uh, like, you know, taken control of the dock. And uh, I forgot her name, the, the lady that we saw in the end. I think her name was, was it Kiyomi or something like that? I don't remember. Uh, you know, like the Azuma Bito uh, lady. Uh, she's just sitting there and, well, Flosh is there with a gun. And yeah, this will be a hostage situation, I'm guessing. So we need to stop them first. So before like the whole dog situation we can get yeah i'm guessing the next episode we'll be fighting with the jaegerists uh, so yeah anyways that's it thank you guys for watching um yeah this was episode number uh nine of attack on titan the final season uh, part two uh it was nice to see like a episode completely just dedicated to them talking and uh like you know coming into an understanding just talking about their the things that they think like it is wrong while the other party also talked about their grievances just you know like coming to an understanding so it's nice to see that and they needed this you know they needed this episode uh just for talking and i'm glad that this happened so yeah next episode we're going to go back to the fighting i'm guessing so yeah, anyways that's it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to attack on titan oh i said that anyways uh <laughs> episode 9 uh season uh the final season part 2 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know and I'm, i'll check them out so yeah i'll see you guys next week with another episode of attack on titan final season part two we're almost at the end i think i don't know how many episodes this season will have probably 12 or something so this is the ninth so three or four more episodes we'll get we'll see so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day